Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be a brief video on the application.onkey in Excel. Uh, it's a way to add a shortcut key to macros. You might be aware of one way to add a shortcut key to a macro, and that is to go to Tools, Macro, and here's your list of macros, and then you select the macro you want, you go to Options, and you could put a shortcut key on that. And that's fine, you could do that. Um, I just want to show you another way you could do that. So let's say I want to do a shortcut key for this macro 2. What I would do is go into VBA, which is this, you click this, projects window, or the, the VBA environment window, and now you want to tell the workbook to activate a shortcut key and deactivate a shortcut key when it closes. So when it opens up, you want to activate the shortcut key, and when the workbook closes, you want to deactivate the shortcut key. So how you do that is you click on the This Workbook area where you can write code. And you can see I'm already in it. And you click on, instead of General, click Workbook. And you see automatically it says Workbook.open. So anything you write in here will happen when the workbook opens. We're not going to deal with that, so I'm going to get rid of that. We are going to deal with um, Activate. It came back, but that's okay. And also, we're going to deal with deactivate. So, when the workbook is activated, I want to do something. What am I going to do? I'm going to put application dot on key, and then I'm going to put uh, control. Now, the symbol for control is a caret e, so that's control e, and then you're going to put the name of the macro you want to call, which is macro2. So I want to call macro2 with control E. And that's fine. Now, if I save the workbook and get out, which I'll do in a second, uh, when I press control E, it's going to run macro2. What you have to do, though, is get rid of this when you deactivate the workbook. So I, I copy that line. I go down here, and I'm just going to put it in here um, control E I shouldn't have deleted it control E and then you want to delete the name of the macro okay so that's pretty much it um, what this does again is application dot on key control is a caret and then a letter is E now what's interesting is um, let's see a control is a caret, so just remember that. And I'll put that here, is a caret. And these are comments, so I'm just writing a comment. A caret equals control. A percent sign is going to equal alt. And a plus sign is going to equal shift. And this is just comments so you know, instead of doing control E, I could do shift E. Is that clear? So this will record, this will, uh, you could do anything. If you don't want to put a control or an alt or a shift, you could put E. And every time you press E, macro 2 is going to run. Or um, you could do that. But usually people press E a lot, so they don't want to do that. So it's good to put a caret for control or a percent sign for alt or a plus sign for shift. So this is just another way to um, to uh, call a macro with a shortcut key. And remember, put it in the workbook activate section, which is clicking on this workbook and going to activate up here. And also put, out, put it in the deactivate, blank out the macro you want to call. So it, it frees up that control E. Um, one more thing to remember is make sure you save this. So control S, save this workbook and close it. When you reopen it, this will work and you'll be able to run your macros. So that is it for uh, this video and please comment and let me know if you have any questions.